All right, everyone. So we are going to play Hogwarts Legacy. And I have never played this game before. And we're going to see what this is about. And we're going to do it from everything. This is literally the beginning of the game. I just got done with all the graphic selections and everything. So um, this has been up for a bit. We'll read it and then we will uh, play the game. And this should be fun. Yes. Been waiting for a while for this game. Um, the Harry Potter series is one of the few series that it's actual. There's no like swords or anything like that. It's just all magic, which is one of the reasons I really like it. Okay, <clears throat> so character creation. Let's see here. And I have no idea whether I'm going to play a dark wizard or a light wizard yet. Good wizard, whatever. I don't know yet. I wonder if I should play a sexy female. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if the outfits are sexy. That looks like a lesbian. It's a cute redhead. Looks kind of like Hermione. Hermione! I don't know if that's a woman or a man. I think it's a woman because she's wearing a dress. These people are <laughs> very androgynous. Oh, the faces don't actually change. That's, that's really weird. Okay. So, we'll take the redhead. Oh, now I get to pick the face. Okay. Let's see here. Skin color. You are an alabaster girl. Because you're a redhead. What is this? Interesting. No glasses. You have 20-20. Oh-ho! Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So that's like a half Asian Irish redhead, I guess. <clears throat> I think that's the best looking one. All right, you know what? Uh, oh, crap. I did not want to do that. You know what? Let's go with the Aryan girl. And, and see what her face looks like. I can change the hair color. Does that look the same to you? I mean... Man, that looks exactly the same. Okay, let's go to hair. The character creation definitely um, could use some work. It's amazing how she goes from looking white to half black. Maybe I should just make a male character and call him Galacta Chad or something. <laughs> That's a dyke. 100%. She likes pussy. What's this? That's some cultural appropriation. <laughs> you can already tell this playthrough is going to be fun! Full of trigger words and things that piss people off. Because that's what I do. I piss people off. It is, however, interesting to note that the African-American hairstyles look better on this girl than the uh, Caucasian hairstyles. Man, that, that looks... I don't know. I cannot... I don't like any of these. That's a dude's hairstyle. Is there not, like, one that's for a short-haired girl? 
that doesn't make her look like a little boy? Is that too much to ask? I may have to make a male. I really don't want to, but I may have to. There's no actual feminine, like, really... That one's okay. I want to change this color. Can I change the color? I can! What kind of colors can I have? Let's see. I can have dark... I think that's supposed to be black. That looks dark brown. I think it's black. Gray. White. Let's do a Luna. You know, that's, that's unfortunate. Like, uh, there's no, like, Luna-like characters. I would make a Luna. Uh, apparently, there's several shades of white. That's like a deep redhead. Oh! There's the feminist girl! Or is it that? Oh, yeah. They had to include those, that's for sure. There we go! That's the color! That's righteous pink! <laughs> I think we're going to go with black. Let's see if I can find it a decent um, thing for that. Dude, she looks so much like a dude. Why? I don't understand why she has to look like... See, that's the problem. That was Amazon's problem, too, with New World. All of their characters look so androgynous. Like, you could not specifically tell the males from the females. And it, 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 re it really ruined my immersion because that's not how reality is. That's not how real life works. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I would skip ahead, but I, I don't do that. You can skip ahead if you want. Because this may take me a minute. I have other shit to choose too, apparently. That looks like a... Dude, that looks like a boy. Like, this is a female, and that looks like a boy. Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> let's, um... There has to be a female-looking female here. What about her? She's Arabic Indian. It's kind of an Asian girl. What about this girl? Uh, no. That looks like a dude. That's an Asian. Good luck to Chad! There we go. Galactichad. <laughs> I really wanted to make a female character. I'm not being honest. I really did. But I'm... This is not conducive to... <laughs> that looks like a black... That's an Asian chick that now looks black. It's amazing how hair does... That. The hairstyle really determines shit. I don't know, man. Like, I think this is the most feminine hairstyle here, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's go uh, with. Uh, let's go with that that red the auburn. Okay, and let's do a face. I don't know why I kept going back. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh! That one looks kind of feminine. Yeah, that looks alright. Hmm. I don't like that, that beauty mark, though. As pale as snow. I wish I could make like a little goth. A little goth girl. Put her in Ravenclaw. I'm also doing taking this long because I want everyone to see all of the options for this. Um, that way when you when you play this, you'll know what you're getting into and you can kind of have an idea of where everything is. I don't know, man. Like, I'm thinking...
either that one or that one. I'm going to go with that one. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, look at this. Scars and markings. Oh, holy shit. She got she got clawed by something. That's a hell of a wound. Over her eye. Um, I kind of like that one. Complexion. Oh, here we go. What does this do? Freckles and moles. Oh, look at that. We'll go with that one. Okay, what is this? <clears throat> eyebrows. You can customize your eyebrows. Okay, those are all very masculine. Are there no feminine eyebrows? You know, as, as many problems as people were complaining about this game for trans shit, I, I mean, these characters are very, very androgenous. And I, I'm, I'm, I, they obviously were catering to um, the the community uh, that is of that stuff. All right, let's see here. Voice one. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Oh God, no, that's a trans. See, this is what I'm talking about. These guys were complaining about this shit, and you can you can obviously make a trans, hundred percent. If I gave this this girl this voice she would be a trans female so you can play a trans female in this game i have no idea why these motherfuckers are so upset i, I don't get it you can even enjoy the fu fucking pitch i am indeed that was it was wonderful i i'm eager to get to hogsmeade it was wonderful i believe i'm really going to enjoy this class i'm eager to get to hogs i am indeed a student but i could very well be able to help you those are interesting a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, at least the voices are really feminine. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I am indeed a student, but I could very... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That sounds very androgynous. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I like that one. That's a Wednesday voice. Select your difficulty story mode. <laughs> That's what I usually play on for these videos. Just because. But I think... <coughs> Excuse me. I think... Oh, look at this! Look at this right here on the bottom. I want everybody to pay attention to this, okay? You can pick as a female to live in the male dormitory. Or as a male to live in the female dormitory. And you can be a trans. 100%. They have no excuse to boycott this game. I'm going to make an entire separate video on this alone. 100%. It's going to be like 10 minutes. And I'm going to bash the motherfuckers who were bashing this game. This studio obviously made allowances. If you want to play a trans female, you can hundred percent so um we're gonna yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna make another video on that shit so you get a first and a last name a eh? i can put my drink out of the way off my desk here we go okay so there's my keyboard let me see here what do i want her name to be i think i'm gonna go with 
Sibylla. Or, no, 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 no. Ha, ha, ha. Ravana. There we go. Ravana Firion. There we go. That looks right. And she is a witch! Because I don't play trans. Although I'm sure some people will. And we, and since I've never played this before, um, I'm going to go on easy. And you all can, can, can make fun of me for that if you want. But I am interested in... in I, I play these games more for the story than I do for the, the challenge. But I do like a little bit of a challenge. I don't want to just be able to walk through it. All right, so here she is. Um, I don't know, that, that face doesn't look right now that I'm looking at it. I may go back here and change this. That face looks better. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. She's a man, man! That looks like a female. I do, I do like this hairstyle, but I don't like the face that it covers so much of her face. I, I mean, I don't like the fact that it covers so much of her face. I wish there was like a, some more interesting, different hairstyles. There's the Hermione hairstyle. Of course, I gotta remember, this is supposed to take place in like the 1800s, right? So... I like that one. We'll go with that one. And I I may actually make her a raven chick. Oh, that doesn't look right with that one. See, the hair is just it, it doesn't look right. I mean I don't I don't know how to explain it. There's just something that pisses me off about this. Maybe I'm just being too picky. Okay, well, I've spent enough time doing this. It's been, like, fucking almost 20 minutes of me just fucking fucking around with the uh, character customization. So, um... That one's kind of nice. But I think we're going to go with that other one, which was the one with the, um... Where is it? The one with the bangs. That one looks all right. Where is the one with the... Oh, hell no. That one, there we go. That's the one I want. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so we'll go with this one, and uh, I may actually re-record this and, and make a Galactichad one instead, but, um, yeah, we're just going to do that for now. She looks very masculine. See, this is the problem. I zoom out, and then it looks like a fucking male. I'm having a real problem with this. I usually do not have these kinds of problems when I create characters. See, and that looks fucking stupid. I'm just going to go with the Wednesday hairstyle. I'm going to go with this thing. And um, we're going to go kill some people. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Ravana Firion, start your journey. Here we go. Okay, people. And like I said, you can skip ahead to, to this part. Um, if you want, I won't be offended. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, 
I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me the whole term began. Oh, somebody just evaporated. Oh! <laughs> Eliza! Evaporated, I'm sorry. George! Evaporated. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've evaporated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Flying carriage. Who will you be? Will you bring the wizarding world to its knees as a dark sorceress? Screw the Dark Lord! I am the Dark Empress! <laughs> All shall bow before me! traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. A corporate differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, oh, look, I dragon. believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. <laughs> There went all our books. Yeah. Yeah. 
grab that canister. The key! Give me your hand! I give! Well, that's one way to save yourself. Apparating out of... Ooh, look, it's a squirrel! It's a red squirrel, to be precise. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? <clears throat> An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. Ooh, I gotta fix the, I would, uh... but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. I gotta invert the Y! Settings. Display. Control. Oops. There we go. Yep, that works. Woo! Oh, that's a bit weird. Okay. I hope that your character kind of uh, changes in appearance as the story goes on. That would be really cool. How far did that porky take us? To the far end of London, the world! Traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Oh, yes. And it is definitely faded. I mean, it's pretty obvious Mind your where the step. fuck you need to go, but... Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. <laughs> Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? The Dark yes. Arts! A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Uh, apparently not. This girl can see that shit, Hogwarts so. Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain Almost it was well. to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way! But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Ooh, what's the shit? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent!
our thumbstick is target. <clears throat> that was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Can I kill the bird? Aha, uh -huh, I can kill him! I'm not going to though. But I can target him. That's ah, interesting. Up there. Apparently you can climb like in Assassin's Creed. That's kind of cool. It's this way. I'm sorry, I can't help but explore. Ooh, a chest. Look at this shit. What did, what did that just give me? Oh, that gave me, uh... Whatever the, the fucking money in Harry Potter is. Crowns, whatever they are. We're close now. It's just ahead. Yeah, how are you getting over steady that, bro? Yourself. Oh yeah, steady. That's actually a really useful spell. I need to learn that. Can, can I learn Repair? Hey bro, can you, can you teach me that? Like, like I want to learn that. Teach me that shit. Almost there! Someone have built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. Yeah, that sense poor key led us here for a reason. Of Let's course have it a did. look around There's for anything that seems out of place. Oh, I don't know. The big statues here seem um, out of place. <laughs> you can turn the mini map off if, if you want, but um, I'm not going to. This statue. This may have been his home. Ooh. Okay, so let me look in here first. Because what I've read about this game um, is is you get a lot of shit by discovering and looking around and stuff and that includes unlocks to special spells that you wouldn't get otherwise professor it's a mural of some kind mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer interesting those look like astrological symbols wait no those aren't that's um those are Norse runes, along with some planetary symbols. That's interesting. And there's some Theban script there. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. I study esoteric. I should really not do that, but it's fun. Esoteric stuff is, is really cool. The wizards of old and the actual magic practitioners. That enchanted crystallized stone again. Ooh. But what could it be blocking? That's weird. What happens if I hold this in? No, I don't know yet. Okay. What's this? Professor Fig! Check that shit out. I hear whispers from the dark. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Believe it. Wake the goblin. Hello. 
Hello? Thank you. <clears throat> Touch his money. Touch his money, it's a goblin. Touch his money. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. You. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Cool. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. What's this? <clears throat> I love goblins. Vault 12. Doors. So cool. Thank you for your help.
What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Oh, look at that. That's Let cool. me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. <laughs> Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellion. Then I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light.
seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Like, no! <laughs> what is this? This looks interesting. Some kind of vial. Drink it. Drink I it. This Drink it. Of that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. Oh, maybe not drink for it. For viewing movies. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, drink it. 
drinking that might be a bad idea. <laughs> Follow my lead. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Really? Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. 
be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Cool. Just in time. As soon as this cutscene is over, I'll end this video and I'll start the next one. And we will continue the journey. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? <clears throat> I'm hesitant to push pause because I don't know Phineas if it'll Nigellus skip this. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. I thought he was supposed to be a dick. Fig, nice of you to join us. The yeah, sorting ceremony is okay. over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Alright, so I'm going to end this here, and I will be right back in like three seconds, so hopefully there won't be a big issue. <laughs>